Hello, welcome everybody. Omar again with another video for you for our online tournament that we have going on within our team. Now, this is going to be our final round that we have this week uh, for you guys. And then we're going to be setting up another online tournament. It's going to be a cash payout for this one. And it's only going to be for in-house in team, guys. So if you're not part of the team, well, we do apologize for that. But uh, we're trying to keep it in the team. That way we can keep practicing and, uh, you know, have some fun while we're at it. Since all this shenanigans is going around at the moment. Uh, today my opponent is going to be Brandon, the mad scientist of Pokemon here. This guy always makes up some crazy decks, takes into League Cups and League Challenges, and ends up doing extremely well with them. Uh, so we're going to get going here. Another announcement before actually we get going. We did end up canceling both of our events for the Ocean Circuit series that we had. And, uh, you know, just to postpone them because of uh, what's going on with the coronavirus and with all the city ordinates that are canceling the... The amount of people that can be in one spot, so we went ahead and just go ahead and cancel them. And I'm gonna put, postpone them, and we'll have a new date for you as soon as everything calms down, and be able to provide you guys those dates uh, for some cash payouts. All right, so like I said, Brandon is today's opponent. And we're gonna get going here and uh, see what we can fare up with him. He usually plays some crazy things, so we're gonna see what he's got going on for us. Uh, then I have, I was gonna make another deck for for this, but I actually did not have time. Uh, so I'm just going to keep using the Baby Pocephalon uh, for the moment. Let's see what he's got going on. It looks like he is playing in Brass Electric. Okay, it's going to be a crazy combination. I'm assuming it's going to probably be Vickavolt. I know he's a great Vickavolt player. The heads. So yeah, he's going to have to evolve. But I'm not sure if we want to go first, that way he's got to slow down for a turn to evolve. He is playing Vera Candies as well. Um, but I think attacking second might be better. But you know what, let's go ahead and just go first and see how that plans out right now. Yeah, we need to get some practice in, guys. It's been a hot minute, like I said, since I started doing the radios again. It's been a hot minute since I've played. Okay, so he definitely wants to get those, what is it, Grubbins, I believe, what they call them. So he can get this Vickable action going. I wonder if he's playing new uh, grass type Pokemon where you get to accelerate energies. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and get out of the deck before we even Stellar Wish you guys. Let's get some more energies out. Let's see what going on. Absol could help us in this situation. We have only one more Persephone in there, so we have to be careful with our Persephone count here, guys. And I believe I'm gonna need four, uh, three energies for knockouts and invigor balls because I have, I think, 150 life. I will venture back as well since we're in here already. Uh, Lucky Egg would have been cool to have. Let's go ahead and bring that out. So we'll sell a wish here. Okay, let's get that quick ball going. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and place Absol down because we're not sure what he's got going on, and we just want to be able to slow him down uh, that much, guys. So we're gonna just pass on turn and let him take it off from there. So let's see if we can get some basics down and see what he's actually playing here. Very interesting. So yeah, it's crazy how all this stuff is going around, guys. I mean, all Pokemon events were canceled, and now you know if they're having a somewhat of a uh, group gathering it's not going to be considered for points uh, so that pretty much you know ripped the last season that we got going on to make into worlds and right now we're not sure what's happening you know with all this all this stuff going around especially on the other side of the world where the main events are going to be hosted anyways i'm pretty sure most of you would not want to go anyways uh, waste that money and just to go there and be able to can you know the event being canceled that would not be cool Okay, so Evolution's Essence is actually really cool for this deck because it allows you to search for that Pokemon and just evolve it. Of course, not off the first turn. That would be broken. All right. Uh, so we know he's got two Grubbins down. This is what he wants. He wants to get them out. That way he can evolve next turn. He's also got the Still Wish that he's not used. Uh, with Absol down, that's going to slow him down from the Retreat Marini. Okay, so good thing we did not use our second Fire Flint. Uh, that kind of stinks because those will say, no, actually, they're just going to go to the bottom, so it's all right. Four new fresh cards. Not necessarily what we wanted, but we'll make it happen. Oh, and I forgot to attach for last turn. What a bad misplay there. <laughs> I 
I could attach energy on the uh, Persephone on there, guys, and uh, you know, I had one energy on there. So if we can hit these Grovens before they evolve, you know, we hit them for weakness, so that way it only requires one energy uh, for knockout. Oh, funny, funny, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, could come in handy. But we are going to have to get some energies in our hand along with the uh, welder action. Yeah, we need a lot of cards to make it happen. So let's see what we get here. Yeah, the Marnie in this uh, Vika Voltaic is actually pretty good right here. Uh, Blitzo, so we, it looks like we are going to see some, some Briska action as well. Uh, this card in the hand drawn into some new cards. So this it looks like this deck has a lot of draw engine and a lot of search capability there, guys. Let us switch. Place our Persephone down. Nothing was being knocked out. I don't think anything's going to be knocked out at the moment. Uh, so we're just going to have to still wish here, guys. And two Wellers. Uh, just one energy. Yeah. But we're going to have to, right? So we'll attach there. Draw into some more energies. Good switch uh, here. We get a second one now. Let's do that. Okay, so we'll get that bad boy up there. We'll go ahead and sell a wish here too as well. Uh, we got another skateboard, uh, which we don't need at the moment. Fire flint for sure. That way we can thin out the deck. Don't need three Jirachis down for sure. So let's get rid of this. Get some energies going, guys. I'm um, tempted to put Oria Coer down, uh, but he has running custom catchers and he's only discarded one. Uh, so we don't want to make it an easy knockout for him, but it is going to be able to draw into some more cards for us as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and place it down actually, and we'll attach onto this Persephone just in case that one gets knocked out, and we'll just pass her in here, guys. Like I said, we could have had two energies already on this one right here. Uh, but we did that misplay of not attach and return. So off to Brandon's side here. He definitely is going to want to evolve. We know he's got rare candy. Uh, so it looks like we are going to see some uh, vicable action going on here. Let me see. Okay, so yeah. And then the charger bug is, counts as energies as well. So it's pretty easy to get these energies onto it. Uh, you just kind of have to draw into it and attach it onto it. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if he's playing the GX vicable as well. Has a brisco here with essence if that's what he's going for the drawing to some new cards zoom in or unless he's got another rare candy looks like he's pulling out that charge bug right there you can start loading him up uh that does not count as an energy either so you can attach that and plus an energy attachment as well so that's crazy all right let's read that right make sure i'm reading that right As a special energy, so does does it count as an energy? It's crazy. What do we got going on here? Professor's research, discarding a level ball. It looks like a level ball, lower ball. Okay. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna need three energies for this uh, knockouts here on this big vault. So it's gonna be a tough match here, guys. We're gonna have to hang on to our energy retrievals or fire crystals here uh, to keep getting these knockouts clean. Uh, we don't want to swing into this thing and not one-shot it. No fire right now. He's setting up good. Uh, second turn, he's already got one Vickle Bowl. He possibly might have two. Still needs another energy attachment onto here. Wow. He's getting these Grumman's ready because he knows that I can knock him out as well. And he's just going to have to streamline the attacks as well. So he's getting them all out and getting them all ready. Uh, don't get a knockout here. I don't, know. I don't understand why. It's... Oh, it's a brisk. Okay. Yeah, might as well. Might as well play, right? Uh, he might be going for that Oricorio knockout. I mean, he's got 150 right now. He's got the energies right now to get a knockout. Um, Anything on the board. If he's got an electric fire and some custom catchers, that'd be awesome. Uh, so we are going to see this Jirachi get knocked out. Uh, 
discard these energies. Wow. Well, there's that second Vega Bolt there, guys. Oh, so he doesn't even have to discard it. That's if he wants to, he can do extra damage. Okay, so that is really cool there, guys. Really, really cool to have. Uh, since that Draji got knocked out, we are going to be able to draw into three cards, plus the Stellar Wish still got going on here, guys. So, yeah, it was beneficial to put that Oracle down that turn. Uh, he was awfully close to get the knockout. I'm not going to lie there, guys, on um, the Oracle. Energies, energies to Denny's. How many custom catchers? Only one down. Two red candies. Okay, so if we can get a knockout here, it would be great. So we do need a welder. It looks like we did not get a welder. That's kind of a bummer there. Don't want to sack all this with the Denny either. Ah, man, what a bad, bad, bad situation here, guys. Okay, so we're just going to have to try to buy a turn. Amso, I think, is putting in some work with those escape boards. He is running Switch. I'm assuming he's running three more uh, because of all the Absol action going on. So I'm not sure if we just get rid of one Cephalon. No, because we only have this will be the only one. So it looks like we're just going to have to pass, sadly, uh, since we're not able to get a clean knockout. Next turn, we will be able to, but he's going to be ahead of the prizes. We definitely wanted to get a, a prize taken out this turn. Uh, to keep up with the price trade here, guys. But it looks like we are going to fall behind here. We have to see how we can manage to keep up with this. Yeah, definitely did not want to the Denny away. You know, three of our en energy retrieval items. Yeah, that would definitely would have hurt the rest of the game. You know, we definitely would would have not won because we need all our energies uh, just to get these knockouts back and back, back to back. Just to take that knockout because he is going to get out of the prizes. Uh, he's got plenty of cards in his hand to make it happen, along with the Briscoe already. Uh, so we are going to promote this Pacephalon here uh, since it will be ready. Go ahead and Ericorio Dance of the Tribute. Get some cards back in there. Now, Dutini would be awesome, but he can knock it out, which would put him in the an even better status in the price trade here, guys. Uh, phony is not going to be beneficial because we definitely want to knock out this charger bug now. Looks like we're just going to attach for turn. Uh, well, yeah, sure. We'll use one fire crystal. Go ahead and get these energies back just in case we get to shuffle these cards back in our hand. Attach. So, yeah, let's boo fireball circus here, guys. And let's see if we can uh, either cause him to misplay or either not get the cards he needs to uh, miss a turn for getting a knockout here, guys. Uh, Ordinary Rod's really going to help us out to get these Pacephalons back into the deck uh, since the other one's prized. Uh, so he definitely needs to get two Charger Bugs going. Uh, he's got a thin deck as it is, so he's likely to draw into it, especially having the Zabriska on board. Wow, two uh, Electro Powers. Either thinning out or getting ready for a big knockout over here in this Ori Corridor, which he would not need necessarily, but to keep those energies on board for him, it's better to do that. So it looks like a Marnie. Wow, it's a huge hand. Uh, definitely nothing too crucial that we need it. Nothing too bad. That's a Weller action. I guess uh, we have Ori Corridor as well if he gets this knockout. We got a Jirachi back into our hand as well. Uh, too bad it's not in play to switch it around. Camera would be cool uh, to get those snipe damage as well. The thing is that we are going to have to be discarding energies off, off of it as well. So either way, we're discarding energies left and right. We got one Weather, one Fire Crystal already gone. He's gone through multiple Essence here. It's three already, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's the third one. And so with that, he can grab the Charger Bug. Uh, to be able to attach onto this Vickable here, guys. And he opted not to promote the Jirachi with the skateboard because he must not have a switch in his hand. Uh, or either he didn't want to risk it, even though he has got Zabriska to be able to try to. Oh, okay. It looks like he's manually treating. Wow, okay. Into that Jirachi to get some cards going, guys. Charger Bug is really cool how it counts for two energies. And you can attach multiple per turn. Ah, I see what he's doing. Lower Ball, get some, get some cards back into the deck. 
Uh, Charger Bugs is definitely, he wants them back in the deck. He's got three in there, yeah. Definitely would increase his odds into drawing into them and having all the ones he needs. There's one, two, wow, three, busted. <laughs> busted, 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 busted. He's got some good luck on those flips. Okay, so what is he gonna do? I mean, he can Zabrisco away all that he has and draw, possibly draw into them, you know, but that's five cards in his hand that he could possibly use. Uh, how many rare candies? Rare candies down. I forgot how to type. Heat Factor is not going to help us out right now. He did not get a knockout. <laughs> uh, so we're kind of stuck. Yeah, we're kind of stuck here, guys. Uh, even with Heat Factor, we can't do anything. Uh, we can Blazer in hopes for a cheese knockout here, guys. But it looks like, yeah, we're going to, I mean, that's the only thing we can do. We can't Fireball Sarkis for anything. Uh, so might as well, let's see if we get a Fire Energy. Oh, look at that. We did. <laughs> so it bought us a turn uh, to get back into the game here, guys. So we're tied up with the prizes. Uh, <laughs> what a busted thing to do right there. Ultra Space, yeah, we should have just grabbed the energy for next turn, but I'm assuming he's going to get this knockout on this Bicephalon here. Um, so that would give us Oracle to draw into. We do have two Wellers, Heat Factory to draw into some more cards, so a lot of draw engine uh, potential here, guys. Uh, so that was the turn we needed to get back into the game. I can't believe we got that one Fire Energy we needed off that Blazer to get that knockout on that little 60 HP Jirachi there. Okay, so there's a double attachment there. On this chart with these charger bugs on there. <clears throat> Electro power along with electro charger. Wow, getting one back. Got really good luck with these coin flips. And this PTCGO online on here. So we're definitely going to see a knockout here, which is okay. We're going to be able to promote Jirachi. Maybe not even Jirachi. We might promote Pocephalon. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It depends. If not, I mean, we could use Jirachi just to dig in a little bit more hopes for a skateboard. We do have 27 cards left as well. And another three set of coins with the lore ball again. I think this... Are you running a rig game here? Is that what we're doing here? Into his hand, too. Look at that. That's insane. I thought they went back into the deck. That's crazy. So we're definitely going to see a second vehicle bolt charged up here, guys. Uh, with how many electro powers? Let's see. We've gone three. Three. He just put one to the deck, but he can yeah, get a knockout on this camera. So we definitely want to put it down. We're going to have to force him to to get into the uh, prize trade here. Well, I was going to say, let's put camera down so we can just start sniping, but there's no point of that if you can just dis decide this discard the energies and get a uh, you know 220 knockout here. Yeah, so if we're able to get a knockout here, we're definitely going to put some pressure on him to get those charger bugs back into his hand. Uh, so with Oricurio drawn into it, uh, let's see. We have what it takes with this draw power here. Okay, so Oricoro, come on, get us an energy here going. Okay, so Fire Crystal definitely works. Adventure Bag as well. Let's grab that escape board there, guys. Awesome. So now we can settle Wish without worries. Uh, we'll grab Fire Crystal or play Fire Crystal. We'll grab two energies back. Uh, sure, you know what? We'll play the. Uh, Do that uh, first. We'll attach the two energies we need here. Awesome. So it looks like we got pal pad. We got two welders already in there. So we'll go ahead and pop off the pal pad uh, just in case something else happens. Uh, we do have enough energies for a knockout here. Uh, so we don't want to get another welder right now. We do need this ordinary rod. Now the thing is, do I ordinary rod for one, or just wait for this one to get knocked out? I think we're gonna have to wait for this one to get knocked out. Uh, I know we could attach. I mean, we don't even have weight to draw into. We could, but that's kind of risking 
our actual knockout here, guys. So we should have not played that. That was a misplay there. Uh, we got a little too carried away and excited. Uh, so it looks like we're just going to retreat into this uh, Pacephalon here and go ahead and get this knockout going. Yep. Uh, since we do have two Welders and we have the Ordinary Rod, uh, we'll wait to draw into more cards, you know, along with Jirachi. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead. If we draw into this energy, it's guaranteed to use Heat Factory along with another. Uh, but we do have a Pacephalon in here. That way we won't have to search it somehow. With 20 cards left in deck, you know what? Let's take the energy. Uh, because either way, we can uh, Welder, Heat Factory, or Ikorio. We got multiple draw engines here along with Jirachi as well to ding it dig into this deck. I mean, potentially, if this gets knocked, we have potential of six cards right here, uh, you know, nine with Heat Factory, and then Jirachi helps us. So we're pretty much going through half the deck that we have remaining. So it looks like he played it safe, and he's going to send up the Zabriska. And use Zabriska, that way he can, does he have to be on a bench, or? Nope, it does not. Man, these lore balls. Is he going to get three? If he gets three, this is broken. You know, PTCGO is on his side right now. Okay, so he got one. One's all he needed right now, uh, even though he's fooled up. Six cards left in his deck. I'm not sure he wants to sprint uh, since there's three prizes remaining still. Second charger bug. So all he needs is one more charger bug. Lore balls has he played, man. This is insane. He's played four, so no more lore balls. But he, I'm assuming he's playing ordinary rod as well to get those Pokemon back into the deck as well. Let's promote that Jirachi up. Ordinary rod first before. Yeah, let's do this. Where's our Persephone's? There they are. Okay, so we do have Quick Ball. We'll go ahead and get rid of yeah, Ultra Space here. Uh, I guess we could have used it. Duh. Let's go grab that guy right there. Draw into some Dance of Ages here. Oh, look at that. Second Pocephalum. Some energy action going. Sure, let's go ahead and, and Welder first before we draw you here. Awesome. Okay, so let's get our Energy's back here, guys. Uh, that's a clean knockout right there. But we're going to go ahead and Stellar Wish as well. You know what? We'll go ahead and grab that Fire Crystal. Awesome. Uh, we'll Fire Flint away. Hmm. Yeah, we'll Fire Flint those away. Thin out the hand and the deck as well. It's okay for one. And we'll just play it safe here. Uh, we don't want to run out of cards ourselves either. Uh, we did attach return as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and fireball circus. Yeah, this is a long game with the one price trade right here. Okay, so let's see if we can come back. Let's see if we can come back. Oh, awesome, fire crystal. Let's see if we can come back from this. Uh, he's just going to need one charger bug to get this knockout, and then we're just going to have to get some more energies to load up. Uh, we have the key cards that we need. Uh, to make this happen, to get another knockout, and then possibly bring out Pacephalon GX. Okay. Yeah, you just told us we got it, if y'all saw that. Yeah, with uh, all the Charger Bugs gone, all the Laura Balls gone, he needed one more. Uh, one more off that Laura Ball uh, Charger Bug to be able to, to get this knockout here at least. You know, I absolutely forgot how to type in this as long as it's been, guys. Is it enter or tap? Yeah, see, I don't remember. Crazy. Okay. Okay, so that's game one. Uh, he ran out of resources, but it looked like the price trade was going in our favor, or the game was going in our favor at the end right there after he was running short on the uh, Charger Bugs. Uh, the only way to add energies, uh, it's very beneficial, though. I mean, you get to attach... You know both attachments, all energy, all energy requirements. I'm sorry, uh, that you need. And I'm assuming he's going to go first, even if we get the coin flip. Yeah, he's going to want to go first. Uh, that way, he can evolve. 
Yeah, so it's crazy. I mean, it's a double-edged sword. You're able to attach multiple energies and hit those high numbers. I mean, that 120 plus, if you discard all the energies, you do an extra 100 damage. That's 220. You're pretty much knocking out everything in the meta right now with one electro power, uh, especially with Seixian going around. But the thing is that you need to evolve it. So uh, that is the downfall. And also with the charger bugs, you have to get them continuously get them back. Uh, with the lower balls that he was rolling, you know, I felt like it was broken here. And he was just getting everything he needed. Oh, man, this is crazy. This is not a cool start. <laughs> not a cool start. Uh, we do get to go first. So, I mean, we could put some damage in. Uh, try to get as much as, you know, as many knockouts we can with this Pocephalon. But in one turn, he can... Yeah, we, we know what you're playing. Okay. In one turn, he can, you know, just take this knockout right here with, on this Pocephalon. Or not one turn, but two turns. So, we're definitely going to have to put some pressure on him with this Pocephalon. We don't want to put too many energies into this. We're just going to have to burst GX. Uh, yeah, because he's got switch mechanics here. Looks like Zerbriska. He definitely wanted a Jirachi. Let's see what he's got going on here since he is going first. Wow. What? Okay, so let's go ahead and draw. Let's get these two cards out of the way here, guys. Uh, we're gonna do this. Uh, yeah, we can't get a knockout here. Yeah, the crazy thing is that we're gonna have to. If we had a baby Pacephalon, no, we, yeah, we can get a knockout. That's game right there. I don't know why he decided to. Did he not get a good hand or not even draws? Or I wonder what happened. That's crazy. Okay, so he must have not got a good hand there. Uh, let me see if he wants to, uh, if you don't mind, let me text him real quick. Don't mind me. I'm asking if he, if he dead draw or what. Yeah, nothing he can do. So that means uh, that he did not have the cards necessarily to play. Okay, sorry. But yeah, he, uh, I guess he braked on that hand on the second game right there. He was only able to play the Zabriska and did not draw into any, anything. That's what he's letting me know right now. And, uh, you know, that's... I thought we were in a bad situation starting with that Pocephalon there. And we're just talking about how we're going to have to get ahead of the prizes uh, before that thing gets knocked out. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we decided to play the third game for fun since it's best two out of three for our tournament here. Uh, and just have some fun. Okay, so he's going to opt to choose a different deck. Uh, so since this one's just for fun, and we're just recording right now for fun. So we don't have a whole lot made. Honchkrow Rogue, it's not really playable. I don't know why it's popping up. That's more for Expanded there. Uh, so we're just going to stick with him, <laughs> Baby Pocephalon, uh, since that's the only thing we got at the moment, guys. Okay, so we cancel it. That was weird. Let's send it to him again, see if he's ready for it. Yeah, that was... Oh, okay. Maybe he's not ready. Sorry. That was crazy. That's We're over here talking about how we're going to have to get ahead of the prizes with this uh, Big Daddy Pocephalon being any active, but he ended up breaking on that. And that's the thing with the Evolution decks right now. Uh, sure, we got some new cards that are, you know, helps us out to be able to search everything out that we need. But with the current format, with all these great cards, with the uh, Pokemon V and VMAX that just came out, you know, you're able to use them to full effect and be able to swing in hard, you know, because of Isacyon, it's able to draw for you, it's able to attach, you got the Metal Saucer, so in, you know, in one turn you're able just to to attack so well with it, along with pikaram has been great, it's even better now uh, with the uh, Tapu Koko V, with the uh, base damage of 200, it's super cool, man. Uh, so a lot of great decks right now are coming back there. Of course, the uh, basic Pokemon. Yeah, so this one's just for fun. 
Uh, let's see what he chose to play. Uh, we had to choose the same thing because we don't have nothing else. It looks like we just mulligan. Uh, maybe it's our turn to take a, uh, you know, a dunk, which would be funny here. But yeah, anyways, with the evolution Pokemon, like I said, we have a lot of cool things. You know, you got Essence, Evolution Essence. You got all the search mechanic Pokeballs now again. Uh, we just got to see it with Brandon playing Laura Balls to get those energies, or get those Charger Bugs back in. You know, it's crazy good, guys. Crazy good. Okay, so we don't know what he's playing, so we're definitely gonna, yeah, we're gonna get Cephalon, get Absol out, and we'll just pass. We don't want to play these guys down. You know, we want to keep those baby Pokemon out there just in case he's playing some Spice. Uh, we don't want to lose prizes off the back either. Uh, so he's playing Grubbin again. I wonder if he's playing the same thing. Okay, so it looks like maybe another bad start is what he's telling us right now. Yeah, I definitely forgot how to text on this. Oops, sorry. Definitely not the way right there. Oh, that's how it is. Yeah, it's been a hot minute, guys. Sorry, I have stuff over my keyboard. So it looks like uh, he's able to switch Ed to that. Yeah, okay. I mean, he got rid of that Marnie. Marnie could have helped him out to draw to different cards if he had a bad hand going on right there. Uh, the grub in action, at least having one. He definitely wants at least two going right now so he can evolve the next turn. I uh, forgot to see what he grabbed, or didn't get to see what he grabbed with the Stellar Wish. I was too busy looking at his discard pile. Now, we don't have a good hand ourselves either. It looks like right now. We're either gonna have to pass or just the day everything away, which not <laughs> would not be great. You know, we got two welders. Yeah, two welders. In there along with the switch. So wonderful. Okay, so at least we get to utilize one of our welders here. We definitely don't want to use Victini because he is playing the you know, he's playing what he's he's playing the card they can knock out all our Pokemon GXs and VMAXs here, guys. So yeah, let's get some action going on with one energy. Sure, look at that. Still wish. Uh, okay, sure. Let's see. So yeah, we're definitely gonna play Victini. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. You know what? Let's take out that Grubbin, right? Yeah, let's take out that Grubbin right off the bat. Let's see if we can make that happen. Oh, you know we might. I mean, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get into that uh, Fireball Circus there. I mean, we could. Let's see if we make it happen. Uh, if we had another energy onto that Weller, that would have been the way to do it. So, you know what? We're just going to have the Dene. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to. We already played it. Um, sure, let's get rid of some cards here, guys. Do we want to... A uh, quick ball for Oricorio, or either get a second Persephone down. I think maybe quick ball for Oricorio could be the play here, if it's even in there. You know, if we could have had this hand prior to attaching, we could have used the uh, Big Daddy Persephone to get this little knockout out of the way here, guys. Uh, we do have Oricorio. We also have Camerot as well to get some snipe damage going around, but it looks like, uh, yeah, we'll just grab, we'll just grab this guy right here. Play it down. Yeah, you know what, just in case, you know, if we're gonna, if we're gonna Blazer and get a cheese knockout like that with the last game, we might as well do it on this guy right here, not the Jirachi, right? Uh, because now he's got to waste another turn evolving it and look at that <laughs> that's crazy okay so now he's got to waste another turn to find grubbins and evolve it we got energies we don't want to waste it on there oh look at that we pulled an energy okay so two out of six it would have been an energy <laughs> yeah <laughs> of course it was busted hold on hold on let's tell him it was busted Flips, man. 
Okay, so he's, it looks like he's gonna Marnie us. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, we, we just kind of tossed away a fire, fire flint. It's okay. Uh, not a bad hand, actually. Let's see. We got we got one energy in there. Uh, so, yeah, that, that Fonny or Fonny, I can't pronounce that card the same, man. You know, that comes in crucial with little cheese knockouts off the beginning like that. Especially, you know, if you get a good hand with B-Springer and they got the uh, GX, you know, you're going to be taking four prizes. Maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe even more somehow. Okay. So, it looks like still wish into that quick ball. Marnie hopefully did him well. He's got the Britzel out. He definitely is going to be able to search with the Grevin with this quick ball. Uh, the thing is, what's got to get rid of? You know, it hurts getting rid of stuff right now. Okay, Electro Power. Yeah, he's definitely not going to be using Electro Power here. Unless he's going to go for these uh, cheese knockouts where we're going to get ahead of the prizes. Uh, so there is that second Grevin. Uh, we might be able. <laughs> oh no, he's got Blitz out. Yeah, we don't get to choose if we use Phony again. It would be funny though if we're able to uh, switch it out. Uh, we could use Camerot, uh, possibly, you know, depending if we draw into a Welder uh, to do that snipe damage and get just rid of some energies, which of course will put us in a in a situation where he's going to get two prizes and catch up anyways. And so it really depends on what cheese moves we want to do, since this is just for fun. And it's pretty much, this is what we're going to start doing. We're going to start doing money, money pods, I think me and... Uh, Team owner, we're talking about doing money pods for the team. Uh, that way, since we don't have organized Pokemon anymore, since you know all this virus going around, guys, it looks like we're just gonna be doing money pods within our team. Uh, possibly, you know, payouts of fifty to a hundred dollars, maybe possibly even more. We're not sure just yet. We just started talking about it, so we're gonna have to see how that goes. Yeah, we definitely don't want to fire crystal for one. Uh, we could get a knockout since we know we're one of these. For sure, what a difficult situation here, guys. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I think we're just gonna take a knockout. We definitely wanted to try to use Funny to get that Grubbin out, but he's not gonna just bring it out. He's gonna send out Blitz out. So yeah, looks like you know what? Instead of so we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll get a second Pacephalon ready here, guys. Uh, so we'll grab uh, this Pacephalon going right now, right? And then we'll enter re retrieval. Sure. I think, you know what, just to... I'm not sure if we get to pick that one. I'm going to see. Does it have to be a face down? Yeah, it does. Okay, so that way we can guarantee knockout here. We're just going to do uh, one fireball circuits here. That way we can get guarantee the knockout. I thought that you could choose the same one that you already flipped, but it says face down. Yeah, so let's grab something else we don't know. Awesome, welder. And we got Fire Flint and Fire Crystal in our hand. Uh, so yeah, we definitely wanted to get the knockout, get ahead of the prizes. Uh, that way he's behind by two. Uh, of course, uh, getting Jirachi off the board is helpful for us. That way he's not stellar wishing. But he does have two Britzels, or Zabriskas, I'm sorry, uh, to be able to you know, throw away his hand. Okay, so there's one lower ball, which that's the main card we're worried about, actually, uh, to get those charger bugs back, man, because that's that's very annoying, especially since he's getting those busted hands of drawing into, mul you know, flipping into multiple heads there. You know, I'm liking this deck very much, actually. Okay, so it looks like uh, yeah, he's going to sit in on that one. Let's see if he's going to want to play another round here, guys. Yeah, let's just overwhelm it on that one again <clears throat> but yeah like I said earlier guys off the beginning of the video we did we did end up canceling our events uh, for this weekend I think I believe everybody did because after the announcement made by Pokemon uh, that all leagues cups and uh, practices or whatnot uh, challenges as well would not be counted for points towards the world so it kind of bums everybody out I mean especially everybody's been working and it was already so close for the worlds or either had the world invites I know a few people on our team had already their world invites and a few that were just about to get them as well uh, so that kind of ruins the you know the morale of, of Pokemon right now and everybody's kind of bummed out and kind of playing their own thing right now and I know a lot of people are going back into the 
some video game sections and then everything else with that guys all right guys so that's gonna be our last round for that i appreciate you guys watching like i said if uh you're not on our facebook page you know it's team Ursing on facebook you're more than welcome to uh, request to be added and we'll add you that way you can keep posted with our daily events uh or either weekly events as well and as soon as pokemon allows us to host events and as soon as this uh, virus goes starts going away or showing better signs of it you know we'll definitely keep you guys posted and that way you can come out to her events and uh, just have some fun uh, we might be doing some public uh, cash battle tournaments as well that's another thing we we're talking about so you're very interested you know you're more than welcome to join us uh, but like I said again go to our team Facebook page and ask to be uh, you know joined in guys all right guys so that's it I'm definitely gonna cancel this one because now I gotta go <laughs> all right guys so I'll catch you later